Hello everybody, welcome to OTC Fish Keeper. Long time no see. It's been a rough few months here for me. Uh, it's probably been six months or more since I put out a video. Been working crazy shifts, combination of the pandemic and short staffings made it difficult to get time off of work. But uh, I'm actually a, a still in the process, believe it or not, of trying to move all my fish from the old house to this new house. But I have gotten some stuff done here. I, uh, Right here, you can see uh, underneath the stairs, I uh, saw I had just enough space to put a couple of 40-gallon uh, breeder tanks. So we built a couple shelves, put our breeder tanks in there, and uh, of course, while I was at the store, I couldn't resist. I saw these uh, these peacock cichlids, these African peacock cichlids, and well, you know how it is. Now I've got African peacock cichlids, but uh, these are pretty cool. I only have four right now. Really pretty. I think I have one male and three females. I'm sure the one male. And but uh, yeah, this is just a temporary tank too. I've gotten a few comments from people who think I should put more gravel in my tanks, and I agree with them. But this is just supposed to be a temporary holding tank. I bought this tank to put fish in while I emptied their tanks and then brought their tanks up, set them back up, and uh, except for I, uh, I ended up accidentally buying these Africans, which are really pretty fish. And then, you know, down here I've got another 40-gallon 40, 40 with some uh, white skirt tetras in there and, uh, and one quarry catfish. And, uh, yeah, let me, let me show you around the joint, show you what we got so far, and I'll tell you where I'm putting stuff. Okay, so here we have the temporary or grow-out tank here for the, uh, for the four Africans I bought. Got one male here. I'm quite sure he's a male because his... Uh, his anal fin is growing that uh, little white spot that they get. And then the others, I'm pretty sure, are female. I even think one might be holding eggs already, but uh, I don't know. They seem too small for that to me. But she is, she's definitely got her mouth puffed up all the time, so we'll have to see what, what happened. Yeah, there she is right there. See her, her gills down below are always swelling out, and she's always moving her mouth. Like, even right now, it looks like she's, like, juggling eggs or babies for air or something. I don't know. I could just be hopeful, imagination, wishful thinking, but nevertheless, they are mouth brooders, so it is, it is possible. I just simply don't actually know. Okay, and then down here we've got the, uh, the white skirt tetras doing really well. And again, this is just a temporary holding tank. This was just so that I could empty the tank that they were in. And there's one of the quarries hiding out. Pretty cool. Whenever I emptied their tank, the uh, emptied the Corey's tank, the 125, this little guy managed to evade me, and I didn't see him in initially. But uh, I still haven't emptied that tank, so luckily he's fine, and now he's here. And the goldfish pond is going to go out in the hallway, but in the short term, I've got I'm putting the goldfish in this 125 just to hold them so that I can empty the fish pond. It's a lot of juggling going on, and and it's a 45 minute back and forth from one house to the other, so it's quite a bit of work. And then over here we got our shelves. Yeah, water's a little cloudy. These are the baby goldfish, the ones I saved from last year, although they, they've got deformed gills, so I don't know, I shouldn't have really saved them. But uh, nevertheless, I have, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably keep them anyway. I only got three left. The others were really in bad shape. And I've got the, uh, the guppy tanks all emptied out. I don't have any good light on this one, but, uh, but I got all the guppies in here, and there are a lot of them. There are probably 50 or 60, maybe even 70 in there. It's insane. That's not very good. And we're going to put uh, the 125s over here, build a set of shelves for them, but it turns out there's a little dip in the middle. So I can't put them on there yet because they'll crack eventually under pressure. So I have to do a little bit extra uh, support. So that's a temporary hold until I can get to the store. And then right out here, right in this corner, that's where the fish pond is going, the 400 gallon fish pond. And I've re-inherited my, uh, my 29 gallon from my nephews. Really nice tank. It's got some really old uh, hatchet fish in there. They're like three, four years old already, along with that black skirt tetra. And those neons are well over a year old. <clears throat> and this is where all of my quarry cats come from. He had about three in this tank, and they started breeding. 
And next thing you know, he had four and he had five. And now there are probably 15 in there, although you wouldn't tell by looking because they're hiding. There's a couple of them hiding over here. Yeah, there's about 15 or so in there. They hide pretty well. <clears throat> but we saved one batch of babies and then we ended up with this tank over here, which is also temporary. 55 gallons. It's got an angel fish in there along with the, uh, the silver dollar and 71 corridor catfish. I had no idea. I thought there was 40 or 50. There's 71. I got to count them as we pulled them out. Yeah, that tank could use a little glass cleaning and maybe a little water change. Over in this corner over here, same thing with the, uh, with the tank stand we built. Gonna have to get some more support for it. <clears throat> but it's gonna hold two 125s. And I've got this 125 filled up with water. Just waiting for me to bring the Oscars out. And I need to put a filter on there. Of course, I went to the pet store and bought two filters and opened up the second filter and discovered that somebody had stolen parts of the filter. So I'm gonna have to take that back. <clears throat> Here I got myself a nice little 20, 20 gallon and inside I've got probably another 40 or 50 quarry catfish including our first baby albino. Oh it's not focusing in on him. But yeah we got one albino and there's probably altogether 40 or 50 more in there. I hope there's not another 70. I don't even know what to do with that many anymore. So it's coming along, it's coming along. Got a few more things to move around. These are some of the tanks that are gonna leak on me, so I'm gonna have to reseal them. So that's future projects. Okay, thanks for coming along. A little quick brief update there. And uh, pretty soon I'm gonna have some video of catching my, my Oscars again to bring them back out here. And they have grown. You know, I, I buy them at about a year old when people give them up and give them back to the pet store. And I forget that even though they've grown eight or nine inches in that year, they're not done growing. I think, I haven't measured them, but I think my Oscars are more than a foot long now, more than 12 inches. They have just gotten huge over the last last 12 months. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna get wet getting them out of that tank and putting them in this one here, and then eventually we're setting up their real tank. So it should be interesting, and they should look huge in that tank. I can't also wait to put the, uh, the goldfish temporarily in this tank just to see these two that I showed you are my little goldfish. Wait till you see the big ones. So until next time, you guys keep having fun. Hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you all later.